In this video, I'm going to talk about the cluster of Van der Werf to determine if nociception is coming from the sacroiliac joint. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. The cluster of Van der Werf is a test battery consisting of five SI joint provocation tests designed to determine if your patient's pain is coming from the sacroiliac joint. It has a sensitivity of 85% and a specificity of 79% according to Van der Werf himself in the year 2006. This means that three or more positive tests out of five are indicative for SI joint pain. For the distraction test, have your patient in supine lying position with the affected side close to the side of the table. Then stand next to the patient on the affected side and apply cross arm pressure to the anterior superior iliac spines for about 5 seconds in a dorsolateral direction, building up until 25 to 30 kilos. Be careful that you don't stretch your patient's skin which may cause discomfort. This test causes gapping anteriorly and compression on the posterior side of the SI joint. To perform the compression or approximation test, have your patient in sideline position with the affected side up and the back towards the side of the treatment table. Hips are flexed to approximately 45 degrees and the knees are flexed to approximately 90 degrees. Then stand behind your patient, place your folded hands over the anterior edge of the iliac crest and apply a down pressure for 5 seconds building up the pressure to around 25 to 30 kilograms. This test provokes by creating compression anteriorly and gapping on the posterior side of the SI joint. To perform the thigh thrust or femoral shear test, have your patient in supine lying position with the contralateral leg in extension. Then bring your patient's affected leg into 90 degrees of hip flexion while the knee remains relaxed. Now adduct the hip slightly, grasp your patient's knee with both hands and apply a longitudinal force along the femur for about 5 seconds and build up the pressure to about 25 to 30 kilograms. This creates an anterior to posterior shear force in the sacroiliac joint on the affected side. To perform the Gainsland test, have your patient in supine lying position with the affected side close to the edge of the treatment table. Then guide your patient's knees towards his chest and fixate the contralateral hip into slight abduction and maximal flexion while your patient's other leg is lowered into extension. Then apply a steady downward pressure of about 15 kilos for 5 seconds. This test is only performed unilaterally on the ipsilateral leg. It provokes the SI giant by creating a counternotation force on the ipsilateral SI joint. For the Patrick sign or Faber test, have your patient in supine lying position and stand next to the patient on the affected side. Then your patient brings his ipsilateral knee into flexion with the medial side of the heel against the knee of the other leg. While you fixate the contralateral ASIS to ensure that the lower back remains in a neutral position, your patient lowers his ipsilateral leg towards the treatment table as far as possible while the foot remaining in contact with the treatment table. At last, apply a light overpressure to your patient's knee of about 15 kilos for 5 seconds. Similar to the distraction test, the Patrick test causes gapping on the anterior side and a compression on the posterior side of the ipsilateral as eye joint. Each of these five tests is considered positive if the patient's familiar pain is provoked and if this familiar pain is felt on the ipsilateral side in the gluteal region under vertebrae L5. Another famous cluster for this eye joint with even better accuracy is the cluster of Laslet. You can watch it by a click on the video right next to me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and check us out on various social media as well as physiotutors.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.